still analyzing huh. the information I got from Shahid, but so far it checks out. He's been busy. So is Halbeck. So there was a connection between Al Samad and Halbeck. Looks that way. But what worries me is why. According to this, Halbeck's got three targets. Taipei, All Rome, in and Moscow. Europe. Transmitting the information now. Is Looks Taipei like the Asia? Missiles were shipped through Moscow. Halbeck's got a distributor there, or had. As for Rome, it looks like an Al Samad cell was activated, but I don't know why. And in Taipei, Ronald Sung, the president of Taiwan. Definitely. Someone's been ordered to assassinate him. This doesn't make sense. What does Halbeck hope to gain? A global well, dominance? <laughs> Halbeck wants to raise global tensions and spark a cold war and turn the world into their private marketplace. They'll be able to secure military contracts and a steady consumer base for their weapons for years to come, if they succeed. I need to get this information where it will do some good. No one will listen, Mike. You're rogue. I'm rogue. But Halbeck's gotten inside Alpha Protocol somehow. If you're caught... I know. Execution, imprisonment, possibly another lecture by Westridge. I'm on my own. No, not exactly. I'm here. I used you. But we can use Alpha Protocol. There's so many levels of secrecy to it. Not even the staff know all the resources the program has. Like? Safe houses, weapons. If you're going after these targets, they'll need a base of operations in each city. I can dig up some spots that aren't listed in any records. Like this one? What? It's better. <laughs> I think. It sounds like you're going after these targets then. Just because they tried to drop a missile on me doesn't mean I'm giving up on my mission. If Halbeck's trying to manipulate world events, it's my responsibility to stop them. I don't know about this. So I don't like that they used me to do their dirty work. Oh, they need okay. to kill Shahid and get their merchandise back. No way am I letting them get away with that. Not okay. Data, yeah, like it may be a good thing. If Halbeck's trying to cause a cold war, they've made a mistake. They're going to cause a real one. <laughs> Was that uh, that real data? Everybody firing at each other? Now that I've completed my first operation, test select specialization, commando spy or engineer, specialize in combat infiltration or tech. Alternatively, you can choose operative to select a custom trio of specialized skills. You can also reconfigure any skills you gained at this point by using the remove rank option to refund spend EP. Okay. Spies, great spies, don't want themselves spy evasion and killing from the shadows. Uh, that's. Device of high impact, low subtlety. Uh, man who's chain without number, not gun, automatic weapons, physical conditioning. Espionage news originally mounted. I want to choose my own specialized skills. Um, well, let's look here. Allow me to go down further down here. Um, Oh, I have to select the skill. Pistols! Uh... What else? Stealth! And, uh... Martial Arts! What does this do? <laughs> I think I'm good, though. Yeah. That sounds perfectly fine to me. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Choices for the future? Nah. The photographer? Scarlet. You met her leaving Saudi, then in Taipei. But after that, we lost track. Don't say anything! I always wondered how you two happened to meet. Coincidence? I don't know. <laughs> I, that's really that was your version of silence. I don't know. Try to beat it out of me. That might work. I respond very well to punches to the groin. All right, where do I go? Deus Vault. True heirs. Or blood feud. Oh wow! I already got a hundred percent on them. 
CIA's at 50%, Halbeck's at 66, and now Protocol's at 28. It's not individual. I know quite a bit about Saheed, because he's dead. Oh, uh, working on behalf of Halbeck, using his diplomatic immunity, go between part of immediate and future profits. Parker, who I've never met, <laughs> the president of Taiwan. He seems pretty cool. Uh, an arm to guards, type bullet, jerking around, punch with a bullet. Um, Mina trusts me. The dead guy likes me. <laughs> At least we died on a good note. <laughs> um, I think that was them telling me to go to Taipei. So, <laughs> use the safe house to prepare for further missions. Okay. Ah, it's so bright. Just to fight my way off the plane. You wouldn't believe the day I've had. <laughs> so, uh, I think I've got you beat. You ever been a pushy woman in the heart of Arabia? Once. Once of that. <laughs> yeah. You could keep that up the entire flight, I bet. Did you already have plans? I was going to invite you to slow down. Oh! Sorry, I get a little antsy before flights. Last time I was in an airplane, it wasn't the smoothest trip. It got blown up by a missile. I've spent far too much time on planes lately. Well, what are you doing in this lovely part of the world if you don't... <laughs> I just stared at her tits. <laughs> you first. Halbeck? I'm in claims and acquisitions for Halbeck, apparently. Still getting a feel for the job. Oh. That was my reaction. Social butterfly. Get in favor of three people. Ha <laughs> ha! that an O as in I've never heard of Halbeck? O as in the sense of yes, I've heard of Halbeck, military and construction contractor. That name comes up a lot in this region. That's right. <laughs> so if you're familiar with the area, that would make you a... Whore! Oh. So is your leg? Other page. <laughs> oh, damn! Her story by Scarlet Lake. Mm, I heard she's on this flight. Photojournalism, isn't that a bit dangerous? Scarlet. If there's no risk, it's not important. But wow. I have a mic. Here, call me. I have a lot of contacts in the area. Maybe we can work out a trade. If you should hear anything, of course. I hear I'm getting antsy on if this flight. You see, you're the first person I'll call. I appreciate that. You know, there's something about you. Makes me think I might just be sitting next to a headline. Flirt! <laughs> you might want to stick close then. Maybe I will. You don't really have an option for the next few hours. But after that, well, I have to get some work finished before we land. Okay. Let me know if you do anything scandalous. Will do. <laughs> I blew up this missile once. <laughs> right next to me, pretty much. There was a guy, he had a rocket launcher, he just shot it straight at the ground. I don't know why. <laughs> We both blew up and it was very interesting. <laughs> and I got an email! Yes! I love emails. Is it? It's very crappy. Maybe you should unwind after the flight. Maybe take a shower. No! Oh. Shower? Oh, this is one of those secret agent hidden entrance things, isn't it? Well... It was until you started talking about it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Turn on the shower. Oh yeah. So awesome. Are you sure about this? Trust me. Sweetest thing. Okay. See, what did I tell you? Love this. This is why I love you. You can send roses to my dead drop in Prague. Now that you've made it to Taipei, what are your plans? 
What? I sort of figured I'd improvise, we'll put an ear to the ground and see what I can find out. Don't you think you need a little more focus than that? I've got three leads to start with. This Stephen Heck guy seems like he knows what's going on in Taipei. He might be able to answer some questions. Be careful, Mike. I've checked my database. He's bored. <laughs> any evidence that Stephen Heck has ever worked for the CIA? Oh. I'll be on my guard. There's also that anomalous data trail from Shahid's system. Any luck tracing it down? I managed to follow it back to a place in the west. Right next to you. I'm forwarding the address to you now. What's the final lead? Simple. Follow the money. Shahid was funneling large amounts of money to a front corporation for the White Oak Mountain Triad. That sounds you safe. Persuade them to tell me why. Sounds like you've got everything figured out. Isn't that why you love me? You watch yourself out there, Mr. Thornton. Always. God, throwing the love word around real quick for a spy. Oh, here I can actually shower. That's appreciated. Oh, wait a minute. This is oh, great. Darcy. Great Darcy. He wrote, Mike and Sean, fuck yeah! With three exclamations. <laughs> three exclamation points? Wait a minute. Oh, great. Here's a picture of Darcy. He wrote, Mike and Sean, fuck yeah! With three exclamation points. Wait a minute. Why is my name involved in that? I'm Mike! I don't like this. Where can I check my email? Make me feel better. Email! Hey Mike, funny thing. You missed some comfort directory, but you don't even have a voicemail. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah. Plan, spend a lot of time on planes, and 90% of the time sitting next to old lady of screaming kids. How am I hanging up? Oh wow, really they're looking for me? Mike, the agency's burning plenty of taxpayer money looking for me. I'm pretty close to just filing a sexual harassment claim against Darcy. An alias of mine I was using on the summit just got slated for a severe audit, and now I have to hack into the treasury service to correct the problem. My last paragraph was an ill-conceived attempt at small talk. I realized my problems are pretty trivial. What's going on with you? Trust me when I say I'm going to keep everything. I'm doing everything I can to keep the agency on the tails. Anyway, if you have a moment, let me know how you're doing. Let me reply. Well, being shot at is loads of fun, but at least I have well-appointed safe house where I can perform unlicensed surgery upon myself. I probably Ever pry a bullet from your gut with a pair of tweezers? Good times. I appreciate you up so far. I've got a laundry list of leads to follow up on. If you have any more info for me, I'm all ears. What else can I do? Will you have to show them on the doll where Darcy mentioned he touched you? <laughs> Sounds pretty traumatic. Why don't you tell him he's been a verified sighting of me in Siberia. While I can't promise you he'll be the victim of a polar bear rape, it should keep him out of the office for a while. Things are good and not, uh, going well enough. You know, there's a little problem with my former co-workers wanting me dead, but that's nothing that guns and a drinking problem can't solve. Or I could say, Mace Darcy, either the spray, Mace Darcy, either the spray or the medieval kind, just claim the alias made a ton of money. The president pulled, pulled funding from the IRS so you don't have the manpower to actually investigate rich people who cheat on their taxes. How am I doing? Busy, too busy for small talk. I appreciate all your help getting situated, but I need to focus on work and not waste my time with banter. You kidding me? I'm doing the polar bear rape one. The ultimate in jokes. Nothing like good old polar bear rape to loosen up the talking. Alright. Let me see here. Do I got any... Oh, I can... I can only buy... Wow. Okay, I can expand my dossier. I can write a computer program to insist the invitation of any computer servers. I can get a map. Uh, oh, that's a detailed map. Uh, that'll let me to give me the proper transponder frequency. Oh, for that's that, and then the contact. Well, I think I'll just buy the contacts real quick there. This one, bribe to give me the proper transponder frequency. Um, you know what? I'll do that, that's cool, and, um... I'll get a map, why not? I uh, unfortunately don't have any of these guns, so I'm just gonna buy a shitload of rounds. 
couple shitloads more around just just in case. There we go. Can I... Do I have these guns here, though? Well, it looks like I can see them there on the side, so... Okay, but I can't, uh... Oh, you see, now I can equip a first aid kit. Damn, wish I could have done that before. Alright. Oh, wait. Here's a beret. I sure hope Nazri likes waterboarding. Oh, that's... That's uncalled for. That's the kind of callous humor that gets you detained in most countries. Well, that's all I can really do around here.